so I am about to go catch a train to catch my flight to go to Indonesia. Um, a lot of you guys were asking journalism questions because I know some of you just study journalism too. So I'm going to be, be doing a vlog. So basically this whole trip to Indonesia is me um, and about 15 other students. We're going there and we're trying to learn to be foreign correspondents. We have set up all the interviews ourselves. We've had some help from our buddies in Indonesia um, at the University of Indonesia, but we've set up the interviews ourselves. Um, so, you know, calling people from Indonesia. Um, my topic's on female genital mutilation. Um, so I'm doing a documentary on that, um, but I'm going to be taking you with me. impressions of the airport. It smells like cleaning products, very nice. Yeah, now we're going to catch a bus to the hotel um, and I think that's going to take about two hours. Okay, so we made it into our hotel and it's... I can't tell you how much, how good it feels to be in here right now. We've just had um, an hour and a bit bus ride and the plane ride was long and then I lost my notebook and then I had to go and see if my notebook could be found. And then it was just so, it was just exhausting and so it's been very tiring and so it's nice to be in the hotel. And we are pleasantly surprised the hotel. I'm with, I'm with Sophie, Hello. my buddy in the hotel. Okay, let's look around the hotel. Um, so we've got the bathroom here. Got your standard bathroom. There you go. Got some shampoo and conditioner, I'm gonna assume. Say that's what it is, um, and I'm not sure what these are. It says dental, but when I feel it, it doesn't feel like toothbrushes. It doesn't feel like toothbrushes. It's an opener. Oh, it is so cute. Oh, okay, it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cute. So tiny. Little toothpaste. Okay, so it's our second day here in Indonesia. Um, where I think I told you, I think we're, we're staying in Depok, so it's like at the outskirts of Jakarta. Um, but um, today, okay, so yesterday we had our bus tour, and today we are um, actually, no, I think it's our third day, but um, today no one has anything planned. Um, so people have gone off to like, um, you know, um, like go and see tourist things and see that meet up with their buddies. Um, but I've just got to stay home and stay at the hotel and study. Okay, so what I am wearing today is just um, this blue top, which my sister gave to me from Just Jeans. Um, I'm all about those Hamney Downs, loving them. Um, and then a pair of black pants from Target. Don't know if you can see them. Um, they're just very flowy and fabulous. And I think they were 20 bucks, so that was amazing. Um, and then just a pair of key glasses. These are my favorite glasses in the whole entire world because my head is really big. So not a lot of glasses suit my head. And it's weird because my best friend, her head's really small. And so not a lot of glasses suit her head either. So you really have to have a really good medium sized head for glasses. Um, so if you have that, well done. Congrats. You won the genetic lo lottery there. <laughs>
interview is finished up now. Um, it was a very good interview. What do you think of the interview? Uh, Miss Lily answers very, um, very good. We're so happy. We're so um, like, uh, what's it called? Well, we're happy for interviewing her. She's so nice. She's <laughs> one of the nicest person I ever met in my life. It, it's true. <laughs> um, and she answered all the questions really, really well. Um, so that was fantastic. Um, and yeah, so she was a great interview. Um, but now we're going to go to Meta's, Meta's house and Meta. we're going to eat. I am welcome. Okay, so I'm currently, well, I was just studying before. Um, and then um, Meta was just organizing our interview questions um, because now we're going to go and see um, like a mother who's gotten female circumcision done for her daughter. Um, so that's going to be really, really interesting. Um, and all our friends are over, so that's just amazing because we can talk to them as well. So um, the lady lives five minutes away from Meta, so that's great. Um, and then we're going to come back here. Um, it's probably going to wait wait till a bit later till I head back to the hotel because um, traffic. Um, and then in the meantime, I'll study and Meta will do what she needs to do. And then, yeah, it'll be the end of the night. Okay, so that was a really good interview that we got yeah, and it was very interesting. Um, some of the ladies were talking about how they regretted getting female circumcision um, done to them and their daughters. So that was very interesting. I didn't expect that. Um, so I think that's the thing that's great about journalism is that you can come in with an expectation of what you think the story is going to be and it can kind of control. Yeah, we're really um, expecting with that kind of answer that you, they are really open about what they thought of um, the most competition here in Asia. Yeah, I thought they were going to be um, the opposite, yeah, closed, like they, uh, and more traditional, and possibly saying that it was a good thing, um, but no, it's complete opposite, um, so that, was, that really surprised both of us. If you are thinking of doing journalism, I would definitely give it a go. Um, and if you can do something overseas like this, it would definitely be worth it because it can kind of cement the whole reason about why we do journalism in the first place. What's the current regulation on female circumcision in Indonesia? So the, the current regulation in Indonesia actually in 2014. I don't want to use my hands to eat the rice, so I eat it like a burger. <laughs> It's a burger patty, but it's made out of rice. And then she got um, fried chicken at McDonald's. Here's in Indonesia, you usually find fresh chicken. Mm. Every, every like uh, fast food franchise. It just says fried chicken? Yeah. Even though uh. Hungry Jack's one. Okay, so me and Meta today have an interview today with the Ministry Advisor um, for children and women. Yeah, children and women. Um, so she's going to be great to talk about the policy of um, female circumcision because she's going to know all about it. Um, she's spoken at ASEAN, which is kind of like the UN for um, Indonesia and Asia. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, we're at this fabulous cafe now. Just check out this cafe. I, I can't even handle it. Look at that. Isn't it just so aesthetically pleasing? Beautiful. Car's already here. Oh, and the Uber's here. Okay.
Okay, so I'm currently in Singapore Airport um, and I have, um, everyone else has gone off to eat I think um, and I've just come to come study. I'm gonna be typing up some, um, just some of my notes and just um, studying some stuff so that's what I'm doing. Everything's really busy right now so it's very, um, I can't really take much of a break. Um, because I'm looking for this chair when I come. I've got a few things to do when I come back. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, so we're, yeah, on our way back from, um, Indonesia. So I'm in Singapore. Um, and we flew from in Jakarta to Singapore. And then we're going to fly from Singapore to Brisbane.